не шкуль. guys so I'm gonna show you my settings that I run uh, keep in mind these are console settings I'm just on a series X here's my dead zone inputs you can test what your dead zone inputs should be based on how much like stick drift there is and you can do the this test right here and it'll show you like if it's going back or if it's not and you know if you should make it higher or not so that's a good test if you haven't tried that I don't have vibration or anything like that uh, these are the sensitivity that I run 10, 9 just works for me. Some people have it higher, some people have it lower. Uh, linear is what I run, which I think is like the best one for sniping. Um, and I use focusing, which I also think is the best aim assist for sniping. Keep in mind, these are all sniping settings. Uh, these are not for red gunning. Like, if I'm going to red gun, like I played ranked, my sensitivity goes down. I used standard and standard, or I use standard Cold War, actually, the Cold War uh, aim assist, or Black Ops is what it is. Uh, but for sniping specifically, linear focusing is the best one because the aim assist is less um, strong. Uh, so if you've ever had it where you aim in between two people and the aim assist fucks you, um, if you have linear focusing, it's easier to just have precision on each individual person instead of having it have this weird strong aim assist that magnetizes in between people. So that's what I would recommend. I've been having that for... A while now so that's the best aim assist i would say you should run if you are uh sniping as well as the response curve for the um for your sticks is linear focusing these are all the gameplay settings um these are what work for me when it comes to um you know slide canceling and all that this is what works for me so maybe for you it's you know you prefer something different but this is what i have um so yeah nothing on mouse and keyboard because i don't use that um, just film grain off, world motion blur off, weapon motion blur off. In my opinion, you should have both of these off. I don't know what people are doing. You're just giving yourself a disadvantage by having things blurry. Um, and even if you only have the weapon motion uh, blur on and you're a sniper that makes montages, uh, heads up, you're, you're messing up your editor by adding motion blur to your gun because they add motion blur. They add a motion blur to their edits. So you're making it look way shittier by doing that. So just take off any motion blur. Don't be stupid. This is my FOV. Um, this is just what works for me. Uh, I, I use Affected as well. Um, you know, some people have it 110. Some people have it 120. When I red gun, I have it at 110. So um, again, these are only sniping settings. And I usually snipe, but if I red gun, it's different. Headphone boost. These are my volume settings. So yeah, at the end of the day, like I've gotten asked a lot about my settings um, because people think that there's just like a trick to things that they just need to change. There is no trick. You don't know, use what you feel comfortable with and then just play a lot. You know, go into go play against bots and just get your aim better and just just keep going and keep going and then your aim will get better there, there's no like shortcut or anything but that's really it those are my settings linear focusing is the biggest takeaway if you're going to take anything away the sensitivity is up to you but i would definitely recommend linear focusing or at the very least if you're used to standard then just have standard and focusing at least try that 
um, because it, it should give you more freedom to really aim around almost like a mouse and keyboard is able to because you don't have super sticky aim assist. So uh, yeah, those are my settings. Give them a shot if you want and peace. <laughs>